What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial on regedit. Last time I did a tutorial on how to uh, customize your regedit for better ping slash latency purposes. You guys absolutely loved it, so I decided to do another one. This is an updated version, and in this one I decided to incorporate the TCP no delay 2.0 mod into the regedit settings, and basically uh, I've tweaked it out so that um, there's no TCP no delay in the reg edit itself, but uh, the TCP no delay is something that you're gonna get from this mod and you can download this either through the link in the description or you can download it through, I mean you can search for it from the Kohi website or something, but this link is gonna be in the description and what you wanna do here, you wanna wait until this loads, don't, don't press any of this, there might be an ad like download from here but don't do that uh, just press skip add and there's the download and then you just press that it might put you to like a random page of like casino or something I don't know but you press keep and it's gonna say TCP no lay mod jar 2.0 uh, you you press this go to your percent app data percent and do that and you go to dot minecraft to your mods and you just drag this thing into your mods uh, I've already removed uh, the old one that I had not the old one but it's the exact same thing but I'm just gonna add it in here just like that easy as that you don't even have to unzip it or anything so it's just as easy as that and that's gonna be working when you next open your minecraft so that's all good that's the first part now, the next part is a little bit more difficult, but um, it's still very easy to obtain. And if you have a really bad PC and you're generally not getting more than 60 FPS or you're getting less than 50, you probably don't want to do this because it might actually decrease your FPS since it puts a little bit of load on your CPU. But you want to go to your reg edit and just a little bit more if your PC is decent and you're getting more than 60 FPS, you should be fine. It's not gonna damage your PC or anything. Uh, basically, you just wanna say yes to this, and you're in your Windows reg edit, and you don't wanna delete anything from here. It might actually get dangerous if you do that, so just follow my lead, and don't do anything stupid like deleting your system 32 or something. So you wanna go to HK local machine, uh, then you wanna press system, then control set 001, services and then you want to scroll all the way down until you find TC pip right here you want to press that then parameters then interfaces and this is where it gets interesting you're gonna find uh, depending on your computer a certain amount of files I personally have three just like this and I've added the TCP act frequency TCP Dell Actix MSS and MTU to two of these files they are in this one and this one and basically what you want to do in these you want to add these registries to all these three files you might have more you might have less uh, it depends on your computer but um, you want to add it to all of them you might have like 50 of them it doesn't matter just add it to all of them so it works and basically you want to start by right clicking uh, pressing new and setting up D word 32 bit and you don't want to pick the 64 bit even if you have a 64 bit windows you always want to use the D word not the Q word so press D word 32 bit and type MSS you want to repeat this to all those files and when you have the MSS you double click that you make want to make sure that it's hexadecimal you type 1460 just like that then uh, you want to repeat this to all of these, but I've already done that. Then you want to take the next one, again, D word 32 bit. Then you want to type MTU. Press enter, double click that, and you want to type 1500. These are values that uh, basically determine how the code works, and I'm not exactly sure what they do, but. Um, they're just values for the registry, so you just want to type those. Uh, I personally haven't done the research for MSS and MTU. I actually got those from Moto Man, and I just want to give a little shout out to him. I I didn't want to put him into shade or anything by like just taking his settings. So go check out his channel. It's gonna be in the description. 
But um, these next uh, these next two things, I actually, well, I didn't invent, I found them out by myself, and they're gonna be, again, D word, 32 bit. Uh, then you wanna type TCP del actix. Now, the value for this, you don't actually have to change it, but you want, you, you can check it, and it should be zero. So, uh, you can check that out. Then you go for the next one, obviously you're gonna repeat all of these to all these files, but I'm just gonna demonstrate this one file, and it's gonna be dword32bit again, and you wanna type tcpacfrequency. Now, uh, this one, you wanna put 1288ffff, that's gonna be the value. And I found out that this value is pretty much the sweet spot from a lot of different sources. A lot of people actually agree that this is the best setting. Uh, for me, I've noticed that this setting makes you deal a decent amount of knockback towards another Minecraft player, but still makes you take a little less knockback. So I think that's the sweet spot. Another setting that I'm not actually going to share now, but something that I used to use was where basically both players didn't take any knockback because this actually affects the knockback that the player that's fighting you is gonna take so uh, the other setting pretty much made it so that the other player didn't take any knockback and you didn't take any knockback so I personally didn't like that but you guys can do your research and maybe find find out how you do that but I don't really recommend doing that because it kind of ruined the game for me for a long time but um, that's pretty much going to be all you have to do in the reg edit settings. Obviously, you repeat these steps to all of these three files here or more, depending on your computer. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And make sure, guys, you don't delete anything from here, anything uh, that might be important. Everything here is probably important and you might mess up your internet settings or something like that if you delete some, some of these files. So be careful and hopefully you're gonna get better latency. Tell me in the comments below how you succeeded and obviously like the video if you see any difference or if you just enjoyed the tutorial. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.